Hey everyone, this is Michael coming at you with another Poop Gamer review. This week we'll be taking a look at Mini Metro, a fine companion for your daily commute. Unless you drive, of course. Mini Metro is a transportation simulation game with a very clean and crisp minimalistic look and very easy and intuitive controls. It's available on Steam, iOS, and Android. The game costs $5 on mobile and $10 on Steam, but it's been on sale in the very recent past, and if you're an avid purchaser of Humble Bundles, you may already have it. Mini Metro has 20 stages to choose from, featuring locations all over the globe like New York, London, and Osaka. As for the gameplay, each stage starts with an empty map of your choice and three stations to connect. As the game progresses, more and more stations appear for you to accommodate. In normal and extreme modes, the game ends once a station gets overcrowded, so customer satisfaction is key. Actually, that and planning are the only things that really matter. In extreme mode, you lose the ability to alter your routes once you place them, but in all modes, there is no budget to worry about. Only the ever-growing impatience of your commuters and what precious resources you have available, like rails, trains, carriers, and tunnels. And to get those, you need to level up. Leveling up differs between modes as well. Whereas in normal and extreme modes, these happen at the end of every in-game week, in endless mode, these are based on how many co-current passengers your rail systems are transporting. But be mindful of which resources you choose to get more. It's hard to plan for the long term, but I know I've kicked myself multiple times in the past for the decisions the me of 5 minutes ago made. Mini Metro is fun, but it can get crazy. I consider it a survival game more than anything with its ever-growing difficulty. Forcing you to plan ahead by choosing your resources wisely and requiring you to make snap judgments such as moving your trains between rails to move commuters faster than a pinch makes this game absolutely brutal at times. There were also a few minor irks that I experienced when playing as well that didn't really help with Rails can get extremely hard to manage once you get a really large system in place, and sometimes the mechanism to retract and redirect rails doesn't exactly behave how you want it to. Additionally, the RNG can be just plain mean sometimes, spawning a stop on an island when you have no tunnels left. But these problems are small and easy to overlook when you're riding the P-Line Express. All things considered, I'm giving Mini Metro an 8 out of 10. It's definitely a game you can put down and pick right back up where you left off at any time. And the scaling difficulty doesn't just throw everything at you from the start, even as you unlock new stages. And if you're not into that kind of pressure, Endless Mode is always there if you just want to play casual. Mini Metro is definitely a game I would recommend picking up and giving a try. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. We'd also love to hear your thoughts about the game or the review in the comments below or on Twitter at poopgamer underscore tweet. Please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash poopgamer where we're working on a new podcast and behind the scenes look on how we do our reviews and the process in all of this. So yeah, just check it out and we'll see you next week.